it's Ashley and I'm back I was on vacation last week and I wasn't feeling good so I didn't record any videos like I thought I was I thought I was gonna be so productive was not was drugged up on the couch enjoying all the Netflix Vicky and Hulu but anyway since I was sick, I didn't get to make my video like I wanted because a couple weeks ago, I watched Birds of Prey um, with one of my friends, Tom, and it was amazing. It was hilarious, um, and I love the fact it didn't take itself too seriously, probably because Harley Quinn was the main person and bitch is manic most of the time so of course it's gonna not take itself too seriously <clears throat> because half the time she's just having a good time which is why I love her um, but they ultra, ultra, also introduced a lot of the uh, characters um, Huntress um, Black Canary and then um the detective lady I can't remember her name right now I have all the information about them so I'll pop them in the video when I go to edit it um, so the premise of the movie is our girl Harley um, the movie starts out with her um, reflecting on all of her bad relationships and then ending with her saying her and Jay broke up which is Joker and she's basically in mourning. She's super depressed. And uh, she's in denial to tell anybody else that she broke up with him because saying, just having him, him, his name attached to her basically gave her the right to do whatever the fuck she wanted because that's basically all they did. So when somebody overhears it, or figures it out <clears throat> everybody starts to come for her ass and she's like my life is terrible and I need to ah that's what it was she was she had joined a um is it a roller derby I can't remember but I'll, I'll just explain what it is and then somebody will probably be like, it's this bitch. But um, when you're in a rolling roller rink and you're on a team and you like knock each other over and you have to be the first one to get around the lap and you get a point. I can't remember what it's called, but that's what she's uh, she's in a group like that with some girls and they're out celebrating after they win. And she overhears them talking shit about her saying that. She told them that she, they had broken up and they didn't believe her. They're like, yeah, right. She's still wearing that stupid, ugly necklace with his initial on it. She's going to run right back to him. So I don't know why she even told us they broke up. Right? So she hears this, gets all depressed because she's coming back to the table with margaritas. And she's like, these bitches. So she goes and she's like, I'm gonna fucking, she's like, you know what? Fuck this shit. She steals a semi and she takes it and drives it into the chemical plant where she fell in. Uh, and then goes on Twitter and says something basically like, me and Jay broke up. I can't remember offhand what it said, but everybody was like, damn. She just but she basically just declared war uh, and everybody's like oh so they broke up huh because everybody knows that's like the symbol of their love and she also left her necklace at the scene of the crime as well so everybody starts showing up to try and beat her ass and seek revenge for shit that her and Jay did <laughs> and along the way she meets all these uh, women, the detective for one, who is trying to arrest, who is trying to arrest her for all of her crimes, basically 
the main one blowing up the chemical plant. Um, and there's a guy that owns a bar who's the bad guy. I think he's called the Black Skull, played by Ewan McGregor. His character is such a mess. But anyways, he's like the main villain and he wants to get revenge on her. More like he wants to own her. And um, he takes, he sends his little <clears throat> minions out to uh, kidnap her. And while he has that task going on, he sits, he sets them out on another task to find this diamond that has all the accounts etched for this million, that holds all the accounts for this mafia family that's in these overseas accounts. <coughs> so, while both of these storylines are going on, uh, Black Canary, who's a singer at the Black Skulls uh, club, unwantingly becomes his driver after Harley broke both legs of his old one after he got smart with her, which that scene was hilarious when she broke his legs, but shit looks so painful. Um, so after he sees her fighting <clears throat> with these guys that were trying to kidnap Harley, because she was all drug, uh, drunk and uh, drunk and drugged up because this guy was about to fucking um, uh, black market put her um, put her black put her ass on the black market <clears throat> trafficker. She beats their asses and Black Skull oversees this and he's like, oh, my little canary's got some skills. I can use that. So, <clears throat> he forces her to be his driver and she overhears he's trying to get this diamond. Um, and while, like the first day Canary goes to her job, the detective, I think it's, I want to say it's Mulrooney, but I'm probably wrong. But I'm, so I'm just going to keep calling her detective. Uh, the detective shows up at her apartment first thing in the morning. And she's like, hey, me and uh, your boss's previous driver, we had an arrangement. And basically he was my informant. You going to keep, uh, are we going to keep that same arrangement? And she's like, no, bitch, I am not. You're not going to get me murdered like my mother because I guess her mom used to be an informant as well and basically got shot in the street and nobody ever told the police or gave them information or the, and the police never protected her uh, to ever find out who it was to solve the case. And she basically was like, no bitch. But there is this girl in her neighborhood in uh, Black Canary's apartment who is like a straight up little thief and ha lives in a foster home, which is terrible. There's a scene where she's like sitting outside because they're fighting like cats and dogs. And Canary's like, hey, it'll get better. Here's some money, go get some breakfast. And she goes off to work. But the thing about her, bo her boss, the black uh, mask is he is the most pathetic bad guy ever. Um, he can't even think for himself. He has his like right hand person who is played by, I can't remember his name, but he played uh, Mindy's boyfriend on the Mindy Project. And that's who plays the bad that to place the right hand to the black skull but <clears throat> I feel like he has some kind of control over him or like some kind of puppeting um, skill because he just like whispers things into his ear and his boss immediately is like oh yeah let's do that like he was the one who came up with it but we just seen this guy whisper this shit in your ear and you're yelling and flailing around like you're the one who came up with this big huge um grand scheme sorry to break it to you you pathetic sorry 
you pathetic little <laughs> rich kid. Was he like a hedge fund, trust fund uh, baby whose family kicked him out of the, whose family cut him off because he was so weird. Um, and he had this thing where he would like cut people's faces off, which was really disturbing. Um, son, don't come through right now. But anyway, he, uh, he was getting manipulated like basically the whole movie by his right hand man. And <clears throat> while the black skull specifically told the black canary to go to this address with the henchman, of course. He told her to get it and bring it back specifically to him. Nobody else. So when she goes to get it, what she goes to get to pick up is the diamond. Um, they got a hint or they got information that it finally came in and where it was at. So she went to go pick it up and as soon as she got it and she's leaving, the little dumbass henchman pops up. Or little, um, the little right man hand pops up and he's like, hey, give me that. And she's like, uh, he told me to give it to him. He's like, don't tell me what to do. I said to give it to me, so do it. So she does. And guess who comes along? on her way to go get some breakfast, stealing any and everything um, on her, in her path. Her little neighbor, she's a fucking pickpocket. And guess who pockets, who, guess whose pocket she picks? Yeah, old boys. So they lose the diamond. And <clears throat> we go back to the scene where um, Harley is getting um, beaten up by his henchmen and she's like no I know you're looking for the diamond I can help you find it she's like here and she gives him her business card where she had added like all this extra stuff she does now besides just being a therapist I think she scratched out therapist and she added like she does four other things including finder of things and uh, she's like I can find it for you She's like, after that, you can kill me because the little, his little buddy whispered in his ear that he should just kill her because he just wanted to own her like the pathetic person that he is. And um, he quickly decided that that's what he was going to do is murder her after she finds the diamond, of course. So he lets her go to go find it and Black Canary, who even though she dogged the shit out of the detective and said she wasn't going to help her. Gave her a call and told her, hey, this little girl actually has the diamond. And the little girl actually got arrested uh, pickpocketing. And while she's in the back of the uh, police cruiser, she swallows the diamond um, and tries to hide everything else on her person. And the detective's like, shit, I'm in here. She's The detective was just talking to this little girl. And uh, she's like, oh, shit. And guess who pop? But guess who pops up to make a fantastic entrance? Harley. <laughs> so she pops up, fucks up everybody in the police department and finds the little girl. They're, uh, and basically, um, they want to kill her and the little girl now. And I'm not going to talk about the rest of the storyline because you can probably figure out what happens. But, um, as far as the movie as a uh, total, I would, I thought it was great. Um, the fight scenes were awesome. Black Canary, Harley and uh, Huntress they all um, had really great action sequences Harley's were the best of course because she's like 
uh, does gymnastics and shit into her moves, so it looks really fun when she does shit. And, um, along with that, the fashion, Harley's fashion is straight up, like, is, I'm gonna say it's couture because I don't think a lot of couture fashion, even though they say couture is supposed to mean, like, custom fit. Her outfits were custom made for her. She's like the only person I could see pulling off half the shit she wore, but it looked amazing on her just because it fits her personality. And then um, Black Canary, all of her outfits are amazing as well. And I'm gonna put all of the uh, images and stuff that I found to put in the video that I wanted to make into this one so you can see it. Also, the music, amazing. Uh, I'll probably be listening to the soundtrack for quite a while. There's a lot of songs on there um, that are just feel-good music. It just makes you want to dance around and have a good time. Um, but the henchman, the henchman, the main bad guy, he sucks. Like, he's supposed to be some rich, powerful powerful person but he was like really just pathetic especially when you seen that he really didn't even think for himself he was getting manipulated left and right and uh all he really did was use power to get people to do what he wanted um but unlike uh but everybody is how everybody is comparing it this to like DC's version of Deadpool. I can't say that because Deadpool Deadpool didn't take itself too seriously and it was fucking hilarious. I feel like um, Birds of Prey, the um, emancipation of Harley Quinn is kind of along the same vein as far as like the storyline, the movie, the jokes, the music, the character, like all of that. I say it's pretty much the same. Um, but it's more chaotic and, uh, but the thing is, if there was a sequel, I would actually want to see it on like when they said they were making a, um, sequel to Deadpool. I was like, meh, I still haven't seen it. I probably will see it, but I'm not, how many years has it been now? I'm, and I still haven't seen it. I'm not in a rush to do so, but if they were to come out with one for Birds of Prey, because there were so many different storylines and interesting characters, I would be more excited to see it. But I think that's mostly all I have to say. Um, thanks for listening. If you liked uh, this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like me, <laughs> uh, don't forget to subscribe. I made this video <clears throat> this way instead of how I originally wanted because as I said, I was sick and because I plan on seeing another movie this weekend and I don't want to try and keep all this stuff in my memory, even though I wrote some of it down. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day, evening, whatever time of day it is for you. And I will see ya. Bye.